I still welcome you back to class. This is the master class on SQL using MySQL. I am Tudo Frank. In the previous video, we were able to create a database and we were able to create a, as in to use that database as our default database called TICT right here. So we are now going to create these tables as instructed. The first table is called student record. I will just call it student why i'm going to call this fee i don't want to be including the records so i have to check here we have rate number name gender ish status that's marital status city and phone number let me see how we can create that using uh, mysql so I'll come here and say create table call it students then i have to open a bracket here the bracket I'm opening here is, uh, is because I want to list the property of that table. First thing here is rec number. I wouldn't like to use uh, capital letters all through. I would like to use something of this nature. Rec number. That look okay. Rec number should be an integer value. Because as you can see here, the rec number are actually numbers. So numbers in uh, most numbers in uh, MySQL are stored as integer. Integer. It shouldn't be null, since every student must have a rec number. Then uh, you shouldn't fill any record that does not include a rec number. And then um, it should be the primary key. You can read more on primary key. Any column on the table that. Uh, contains unique value can be called a primary key for example in this case it is impossible for two students to have the same rec number even though they may have the same name but not the same rec number so I now said it should be auto increments that is it a place comma auto increment means is that from wherever I stop I'm um, typing the student's number bringing more it should be automatically in duplicate of uh, of one as in in increase of one so if you have a student 101 the next one should be 102 103 like that in ascending order and the number should increase automatically so i come down here and this red x is here because we haven't finished the query and at this point the query is not completed so we cannot run it i have to go and check the next thing after red number we have student name then we have gender let's see how we can work on it so we have here student name i can type it this way i can equally place semicolon in between it the name of the student should be stored in varchar varchar is the alphanumeric values and the name of the student shouldn't pass 50 characters comma then the next thing is uh sorry i didn't grab that gender then age gender of the students we know that we in this particular um, sample we have only two gender male and female which is uh um, we can we can serve it as options so i call this enum enum is where you have kind of lookup values options to choose from so the first option here is is a uh, male i would like to use small letters male comma second option is female note i place them on quote then there is comma here the next thing here is ish Age is actually integer because the values are stored in numbers. I can put the integer value to be like um, um, 3. Okay. Then I go ahead to the next one. The next line is um, marital status should be similar to gender. Sometimes you need to copy this thing and paste to avoid typing much. So I can just change this to M 
underscore status that's for my retail status then this option can be married single okay then I go down next is a um, city and then phone number so coming down here I can type city if it is limited to these cities we have here because we have Lagos, Uyo and ABJ all the records are limited to these three cities and you are very sure you are not going to include any other city after now you can go ahead and say okay we operate only in three cities Lagos, Uyo and Abuja you can you can create an enorm value for those three but the way you are not sure because other cities might come in at the end of the day so you just need to leave it as voucher so that when other cities come in you will not have issue i will explain that again if you want to use only those three, three cities if you are sure that your students will all come from those three cities you can go ahead i need to correct this but if you are not sure as so you can go ahead and use enorm values you can use enorm to list those three cities as options but when you are not sure that your cities are limited to those three you can now use voucher so that if in case you bring in any other city it will be accepted so that is it finally what do we have we have phone number i can call that phone i don't need to put number phone there is storing number where the numbers begin with uh, zero when you have numbers that begins with zero the right thing to do is to store it as text so we are going to store these numbers as text which means we're going to use voucher instead of for uh, integer because these numbers start from zero and for SQL to accept that zero the number need to be stored as text so I'll come back here and uh, I need to type uh, voucher 11 because those numbers are all 11 digits so for those of you whose numbers is more than that you don't have to use that so I will say voucher I can use it the way I use on the other ones it's good to type your code maturely you can copy this and paste the length of the digits should be 11 I don't need this comma at the end you can see on every point on every point i open brackets here then all the lines of code i type in between the bracket i have them with comma i end them with comma note not semicolon with comma 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 as you can see here the last one here will have no comma because that is the end of the query for that table i'll come down here and close another bracket which bracket am i closing here I'm closing the bracket I open here. That's the one I'm closing right here. Every other bracket I open like this, I was able to close them as well. Even these ones I was able to I was able to close these ones as you can see here. But this last one, I close it because I open it up here. So I've got I, I've got to the end of the table creation. So I can place my semicolon, of course. Semicolon help me terminate the query. It helps tell SQL that from the last query that was terminated, this one starts from here and it ends right here. So this is a simple query that will help us create a table called students with these columns, including rate number, student name, gender, age, marital status, city, and phone. So all I need to do is to go ahead and press my control and enter to execute the query. That is done. You can see right here, I have created a new table. So what I need to do to see the table is that I have to type a select statement. For me to see the table, I have to select the table. What do you mean? I will type select asterisk from what's the name of the table? Students. 
this simple quote this simple one line quote here is telling sql to show us everything that is inside the student's table now note the student table at this point is empty but what we care about is to know the structure of the table how the table look like so by running this query by pressing ctrl and enter we've got the table appearing on the screen as you can see this is the table it's an empty table nothing is inside we have rate number student's name gender ish or it just to city and phone so that is how you create a table in mysql in the next video i'm going to create the second table because we have two tables to create here i'm going to create the second table in the next video thank you very